Well guys, a long time no see. I realize that. I I don't really have an excuse except for the fact that I just really, really, really dislike editing videos. It is really hard for me to do. It I mean I can do it, but it takes absolutely hours just for one video and I'm sure I will get better over time, but there's just not many days that I can sit there and say, okay, yeah, I want to spend six hours editing a video. So I have that Pat McGrath video that I made, gosh, like a month ago that I still have to edit. So I'm going to have to find some sort of balance where I can film a video with minimal editing because otherwise I'm never going to be posting videos. Uh, I mean, you guys like, I don't, know, I don't know, you probably just think that I'm like just being super lazy, but it takes about an hour of time to just film the video without any editing. And then you add like around six hours of editing and then you have to also add in the time that it actually takes to upload that video to YouTube, which is about another hour of time. So basically just for one video, you're looking at eight to 10 hours of work. And that's just for one video. So I don't know. I really would wish that I could like afford to pay somebody to edit my videos but I mean we're looking at like 50 bucks starting for each video and I just can't really do that so I'm gonna have to do it myself and I'm just gonna have to find that balance where I can do minimal editing and just get better at filming so I have to do less you know to make a watchable video so uh, yeah so basically uh, I apologize for not posting. I know I have all of these ideas for series to do and I'm falling behind just because the whole task of just the thought of making a video and editing a video and then it just it's just so daunting that I just I don't do it. So um, yeah uh, it's not fun for me like Instagram is. Instagram is fun and enjoyable and even though it might take like two or three hours to get a post ready for Instagram the whole process is just so much more enjoyable for me and the jump from Instagram to YouTube even like with lighting which I understand how to take a nice picture of myself with video it's a totally different story I have to be mindful of the expressions that I make which I I go like that a lot so I give myself a double chin which is not fun um, I have to also be mindful of saying um and I don't you know just there's so much to consider that I think most people don't even think about when they're watching YouTube videos but they are so much work so much goes into them so you have to give credit to the creators who are putting out constant content because it is so much work truly truly it is and so when I post a video and within two seconds of it being posted I get a thumbs down like that is so disheartening and rude I don't know I don't go around and thumbs down videos I either like if I don't like it I kind of I just click off of it and move along like I don't know there's just no reason in my mind to like bring that kind of negativity into the world I I don't know um, it doesn't really make sense to me I do think that the YouTube platform is a lot more hardcore and there's a lot more for lack of a better word, there's a lot more trolls on YouTube than there is on Instagram. I mean, yeah, I get occasional um, mean comments or emails on Instagram, but I think, I don't know, I think people are just more vocally negative on YouTube. And it's, that's another thing that's disheartening uh, when you're, you know, putting so much effort into something that you're not good at yet. You're not going to be good at in the beginning. 
and then somebody takes the time to like let you know that you're bad like I don't know that's just that's just not my cup of tea I don't enjoy that aspect of YouTube I'm not saying that everybody is like that so many of you are very supportive and you know that you're willing to go with me on this journey until I get better at making videos and I appreciate that I really do and you're even you're not even like uh, you know hounding me for more videos which I mean you have every right to do because I started and I said I'm gonna do it and then I haven't been doing it so but anyway I just wanted to get that off of my chest before we begin um, what I'm gonna do today I decided that I wanted to use a palette that I have owned for a really long time I'm not even sure how long um, but I've never used it so I figured since I'm wearing an orange dress I could use the Huda Beauty um, Topaz Obsessions palette, which I've never used. I do know that I got this on sale. I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that when I got it. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I did apply most of my face makeup um, just to cut down on time. Like I said, the whole editing thing is not cool for me. So we're just gonna start with the eyeshadow and then I'm gonna have to do concealer and blush and then we'll do like a finished product look which hopefully uh, will be a good one <laughs> um, but yeah so I'm excited to use this so if you want to watch me use this palette we're gonna get right into it oh the other thing I wanted to say is I have decided on my channel I don't care if items that I have are discontinued or they were limited edition and no longer available I'm still going to make content with those items because of all of the people who did purchase that item. So sure, you might not be able to get your hands on it, which on one hand might seem a little bit unfair, but we all love makeup and I'm sure that you have something in your collection that's comparable to the colors that I'll be using on in, in those videos. Do you know what I mean? So instead of just saying oh it's limited edition people can't get that i'm not going to do a video with it i'm still going to do the video because there's i don't know maybe a hundred thousand people out there that have the product so why would i punish them just because some people didn't buy it i don't know that's just how i'm seeing it so i kind of want to do want my content to like kind of I don't want to just be chasing new stuff all the time. I kind of want to use what I have, which is a lot. So um, I don't want it to just be about like purchasing like whatever is new and you know, that sort of thing. Like this palette's old, so let's just get right into it and start this makeup look. All right, so with that said, uh, let's just start with some primer. I always use, pretty much always use the ABH primer. I really, really enjoy it a lot. And ever since the first time that I used it, I've been kind of addicted to it. And I used to just use um, concealer as primer and then I would set it. But I actually do prefer this uh, to, to concealer. It's, um, I'm going to try not to sniff and stuff. I had to turn the fan off because you could hear it in the videos. So, uh, it's kind of hot in here <laughs> with the lights and stuff. But anyway, I don't know. Also, I have to say that doing my makeup on camera like with peop knowing that people are watching me is another thing that is completely nerve wracking. I second guess myself, stuff that I don't do when I'm just sitting by myself without recording. Um, but yeah, I second guess myself. I rush through things to get it done because I'm trying to be mindful of the time that I'm taking and the length of the video that I'm making. So I might even like mess up or not 
get as good of a blend as I normally do, which is annoying. And then I go back and I see the video and it's like, oh my God, my makeup looks horrible. Um, but so that's, there's just so much that goes into making your video. In fact, I implore you, even if you don't post it, just sit down and try to make a video of you doing your makeup and then you go back and you watch that video and you tell me if it was good or not or if you did as good. Actually, do it with the intent of posting it, even if you don't post it, but do it with the intent so that that way you know what I'm talking about and you can get like the little nerves. I don't know, some of you may not be camera shy. I am incredibly camera shy. So, I don't know, the whole video thing, guys, it really just throws, throws me off big time. Okay, so I'm gonna start with that shade as my transition shade, and I'm gonna start with a fluffy, fluffy blending brush to apply that. So I have the Sonia G Crease 2 right here. See, and now I'm gonna have to sit here and worry about um, how long I'm taking and doing everything. I'm gonna have to just learn how to relax, I think, but it's, it's gonna take time. This is not natural to me at all. And it just really throws me off, you know? So I'm sort of flaring it out at the at, at the end there, just a little bit. And I'm going like above where my actual crease is. A lot of times when I do my makeup, I will actually just look straight ahead so that I'm not lifting my eyebrows. Because I have hooded eyes, it's important for me to see where my makeup is with my eyes in like a natural position. So if you lift your eyebrows, then when you let them go, then everything that you just did disappears. So that's why I do it like that. Okay, I'm also gonna take a smaller brush and start with the same color, but I'm gonna be putting this on the bottom lid connect this line up just to start it's nothing finalized yet but it's just to start with with that shape this is a very light color which is fine but it is very light so I know you guys probably can't see it very well um, I'll just layer it just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush. This is the Sonia G Crease Pro. And I'm gonna go into the next lightest shade, which is this one. And I'm going to start this one on the bottom just so I can see that shape that I'm going out there to meet. And it doesn't matter if I make a mess because I didn't put concealer on yet, so. So I can have some fallout and some strange, strangeness going on. And I'm just keeping this shade a little bit lower than that transition shade and I'm gonna go back in with the transition shade after I do this see that's what it, like eyeshadow is to me like a lot of just going back and forth back and forth until you get the blend and the gradient that you are aiming for so it can it can take a while and try not to worry about that
They seem to be blending nicely so far. Okay, and I'm using that bigger brush and going back into that lightest shade. And just bringing that blend. See, even for me, it's really hard to not lift my eyebrow when I'm doing my makeup, even though I know it. Maybe it's also because I'm filming and I realize that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to, I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can because I really want to do as little editing as possible back in with that shade before I switch over to the next dark one. Did forget eyeliners out here, so I guess this won't be a totally complete look because that will mean I'll have to stop recording to grab eyeliner, which would make another video that I'll have to edit them together, and I'm not going to do that, guys. <laughs> so. light shade again okay and now I'm going to go in with an even smaller brush this is the refer 14 refer 14 and this guy right here I'm pretty much going to use every single matte shade except for the yellow and I might use the yellow maybe I'll use that in my inner corner but trying not to obscure myself so that you can see. Okay, and then again, back into that light shade, with the big brush. They are blending fine for me. Like I know I've heard, I did hear that some people have issues with these uh, Obsessions palettes. I'm not having any issues at all. So uh, let's see what brush, what brush do I want to use now? Um, I guess I will use the Sonia G Mini Booster. It's a even smaller blend blending brush. And I'm gonna go into this dark shade right there. Watch, this will be like the one that gives me trouble. Uh, and then I'll have to eat my words. Yeah, so I also wanted to talk about the background. Uh, so I have, now I have about a million backgrounds. Kind of went a little bit overboard. But um, I thought it would be fun to be able to change them up and have different things going on in the back. And so that's, 
that's where I'm at with that. And the original background that I had ordered and the company had sent me something I didn't order, I received it. So, and I, I just received it like yesterday. So I did not think that I was gonna be getting that one, especially since I received something else in its place. Um, but I don't know, months and months and months later, I think I ordered the original one in March uh, and now it's June, so it arrived. I don't know, I don't know what, I guess it got lost and they just sent me something else because they saw it got lost, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. So, I don't know, a little confused on that, but I mean, it's fine. But now I also have, I didn't count, but I would say I have between, I don't know, I have like six or seven backgrounds. Oh, maybe more? I'm not sure. I have a lot. So, I now have options, lots of options, which can be fun, I guess, you know? So this is a very smoky eye, as you can see. I'm trying not to block myself, which I think I keep doing. All right, let's go back in with uh, that deeper reddish orange shade. Do a little bit of bl more blending with that. So just going back and forth, back and forth between the different shades to like get what I'm after. I mean, you don't have to go this dramatic with this palette, definitely not. You can definitely tone it down quite a bit and still have a nice orangey, coppery eye look, which I tend to really love those because I do have blue eyes, so these shades kind of make my eyes pop. So I enjoy that. Um, I'm already 23 minutes in to filming. Gosh. Okay, and back into the, like the second lightest orange shade. Okay, all right, let's call that done for that. And let's go in with some glitter glue for my lids. And let me decide what colors I want to use. Oh man, they're so pretty. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay. And I put this a little bit above where my natural crease fold is because I think it looks better for one and for two. I also, 
I know it'll transfer anyway because I have the nature of the hood on my lid. Okay, so I'm using this shade, which is the darkest shimmer in the palette, and I'm putting that right on the outer portion. And let me go in on the other side and do the same thing. I probably should have just done like one eye on camera to save time. I don't know. Guys, I really don't know what to do to uh, make this easier on both of us. I really don't. All right, so same shade right on the outer portion. Okay, and then the next shade, I guess. All right, I'm gonna go into like the most orangey gold. This one. Yeah, get that off my hands. Okay. And then I'm gonna just put that right next to I'm sort of like patting and then dragging just a little bit to sort of press the shade into my lid and then hopefully minimize fallout, but it doesn't matter that much because I didn't put concealer on yet. So that's where we're at so far with that. And I am going to be covered <laughs> in swatches. Okay, and I'm going back in with the smallest brush and the deepest matte shade. And I'm just like dragging that over to make sure that they connect nicely. got a deluxe sample of that new Marc Jacobs mascara uh, at Lashed and I used it yesterday for the first time. I don't particularly like it. I had really high hopes for it because Velvet Noir is my favorite mascara. So I was really hoping that it would be um, kind of like that, but I don't think it is. It feels really, really wet, which I know sometimes like mascara just does the first couple times you use it. So I'm gonna keep giving it a chance and I'm gonna use it today too. Um, but I don't know, like it feels a little bit of a, like too clumpy for my liking, like not clumpy in a good way. And I don't think it held my curl, which my, my lashes are really hard to curl anyway, um, but it didn't really do much for that and it just felt like heavy all day so I don't really think I like it but we'll see all right I'm just gonna go in with concealer now because we're gonna move on I really wish I brought eyeliners out here and I didn't so that kind of stinks all right let's start there I don't have room to film like in my room where my actual vanity is. So I film in like my office slash workout room. And it's, I don't know, I have to remember to bring everything out here in order to use it. And that's another pain. You guys probably are just thinking like, stop complaining, I'm sure. And you're like, right, I should. 
but I don't know. This little beauty blender is the Kaleidos one that they sent me. And I actually, it feels, it doesn't feel like the real beauty blender. It feels closer to um, the Real Techniques one, but it, I think that it is actually a little bit more firm than theirs, but it puffs up like really big when you get it wet. And it's, uh, I like it. Yeah, so. A little bit more. Okay, there's that, that's done. All right, and now I'm going to put, I, I do set my under eyes with powder. I never really talk about it. I always use the same under eye setting powder and I should talk about it because I really like it, but I never do talk about it. But I use the Viseart um, setting powder. I really like it a lot. And my favorite setting under eye setting brush is, of course, the Sonia G. It's called the Mini Cheek, but I, don't, I love it for setting my under eyes. It's perfect for that for me. So, and I like the powder because it does set my under eyes. It doesn't darken when I put it on. And it also doesn't make my skin look older. So, I mean, it ticks all of my boxes. That's kind of everything that I need a setting powder to do and not do. And I look a little bit shiny right there, so I'm just gonna put some right here too. I think it's just because I'm a little hot right now. Also look a little shiny there. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm gonna just finish up my eye look. Uh, the Sony, I'm going to use the Sonia G Pencil 1 for the inner corner. This is a little bit darker than I like to use for the inner corner, but it is what it is. This is the lightest shade in the palette, and I'm bringing it around on my under eye too. So it's not really that light and bright of a shade. Which so far I would say is probably the only drawback I'm noticing with this palette. I really do like this palette. I haven't noticed anything else that I'm not liking. Okay, I am just going to go back in with this light shade again. And just get that blend a final go. And I'm also going to take just a clean, super fluffy brush. This is the Esom G34. And um, it doesn't have anything on it. I'm just going to blend like so. All right, so that's that. Let me move these brushes. Um, next I'm going to curl my lashes, my very, very tiny itsy bitsy lashes and put the little mascara on. This is the Marc Jacobs at Lashed 
you can't see it, whatever. Um, try to stop saying um in this century. That's not gonna happen. This is honestly like <sighs> futile. It doesn't really do anything for me. My lashes are so fucked. So anyway, yeah, this is pretty wet. I don't really love the formula. It kind of just makes a mess for me when I have formulas that are this wet. It gets all over my eyelids. And that's not really like doing much, you know? This whole look would be better with eyeliner and yeah. I'm blocking myself. Well, I'll try to apply some eyeliner before I take some pictures for Instagram. Oh man, see, I just got it all over. The only thing you can do when you do that is just wait for it to dry and then take a spoolie. But don't try to get it when it's so wet because then you'll just make a smudge all over your face and you don't want to do that. All right, so the next thing, I'm going to go in with some bronzer. I have my Bobbi Brown bronzer, and I brought out the Kyoto. This is a BP brush. I'm not sure which one. I'm really bad. I don't know if you guys realize this about me, but I'm really bad at remembering brush names, shade names, just all of that. Like whether it's a name or a number, it doesn't matter. My brain just does not want to absorb that stuff. So. I never remember it. But this is my favorite powder bronzer. I'm just using my display to apply this. <laughs> I should probably use a mirror, which would be more accurate and let me know if I'm doing a better job or not. But I'm trying to make this quick and we're already at almost 40 minutes. So mirror, no. Okay, uh, for blush, I'm going to use the Cover FX. This is Soft Peach. It looks like that. I'm going to use both sides. I'm going to use my Sonia G Soft Cheek Brush. This is like one of my favorite blush brushes. And I'm dipping into both and then tapping it off. Oh boy, okay, it's really hot in here. Really, really, really hot. Let me see if I can just... Okay, now the final thing, lipstick and lip liner. ColourPop Little One, which is a nice nude shade. For me. Oh, 
Okay, and my lipstick that I brought out is JK's Magic from Charlotte Tilbury. And like, look how much I've used so far. It's one of my most worn lipsticks. Uh, this and my Dior lipsticks get like all of the use. I don't really use anything else now that I have them. Okay, and I did bring out some Dior gloss to sort of put it over top. So let me just do that really quick and then I'm all finished. Okay, that is it. I used all the shades except for two. Yeah, I didn't use this shade and I didn't use this shade. I used everything else for this eye look. So that's it. Let me see my hair. Okay, now we will see if I ever edit and upload this video. Who the heck knows if I will do that? Um, I certainly don't. I hope that I do. I hope that you see this video and I hope that it's not just sitting on my phone for the next month. Uh, I really do hope to edit it so that I can post it so that I can get the whole YouTube thing going. Uh, but I don't know if I will. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. All right. So this is the makeup look. This is the palette that I've I can't anymore, I can no longer say that I've had it for a long time and have never used it. Now I've used it. I like it. And there we go. Oh, wait, I should look down. I don't know. I'll take pictures for Instagram. My pictures always look better than my video because I know how to work the camera. <laughs> but video, not so much. But anyway, so this is it. This is the look. I will try my hardest to get into the series that I said I was going to start. I will also try my hardest to edit that Pat McGrath video that I filmed like a month ago and I will try my hardest to edit this video and get it up. Um, and that's it. I'm going to end this video now. I don't know if there's even a point in me saying you know like and subscribe. I mean you guys have seen YouTube videos you know that it's nice to the creator if you hit the like button and if you hit the subscribe button. So whatever. I mean, if you want to just wait until I get better, I understand. Um, that's it. I am going to sign off right now. And I don't know. I also don't know how to say goodbye, <laughs> apparently. Um, I'll see you. Mm, nice. I have lipstick on my teeth. Okay, great. I will see you in the next video, which hopefully won't be five years from now. All right. Bye.